In this video, I'm going to explain how you can use Writebooth to watch a folder for the appearance of videos and photos and to get Writebooth to automatically process them as if they'd been taken by a camera during the event. So the first thing you need to do is to create a standard recording event. And this is what I've got here. Let's have a quick look at it. As you can see, I've got it set up to just take photos, three photos. Let's have a look in the event editor, the screen editor. And as you can see, there's a start screen, a get ready screen, a countdown screen, take photo, show the photo, and we've got the three placeholders for the photos. We also have a photo options screen in this one because we're going to print. So I've included printing and I've got a print layout here, which is this happy birthday layout for the three photos and then a thank you screen. So it's a very standard photo capture event for three photos. So by design, this event is set to when I play, it will capture photos one after another from the camera. Now, rather than do that, I want to use this event as a watch folder event so that Writebooth will automatically process photos as they appear in a folder on your system. So how do we do that? Let's go into the designer and we change the event type from a recording type to a watch folder type. Now, the difference is that with a watch folder, you have to specify a folder on your computer that Writebooth will monitor for the appearance of videos and photos. Now, in this case, it will only be looking for photos and I've set it to look on my D drive in the folder watch. Let me have a look. Here it is. So this is an empty folder at the moment. So I'm going to leave that running. Okay. Let me play the event. So right boot is showing the start screen and it's now sat waiting for photos to appear in the watch folder. Let me just show that folder again. Here it is. I'm going to show you another folder on my machine, which has got some photos in it. This is my pictures. Now I'm going to take one of these photos copy it and paste it in here and watch what happens to Writebooth in the background. So Writebooth has automatically found the image and it's added it as the first photo. Let me take another one. I'm going to control C to copy that. Control V. Writebooth now takes that as a second photo and comes back round again to the start screen. Now I'll take the third photo. Let's use this one. Control C, paste it into here. Right booth takes that as the third photo and then it automatically moves on to the photo option screen, which is for printing. Now at this point, somebody could actually click this print button and print that layout. I'm going to click finished here. And we're back to the start screen. Now let's go back to the watch folder. Notice that there are no photos in this watch folder. What Writebooth is doing is every time a photo appears in here, it processes it and it moves it into the event folder. Let's have a look at where that is. I'm just going to escape out of this now and look in the event files. And as you can see, we've got the photos in here. There's actually some in here from an earlier session. Let me just delete all these for now. But the point to note is that as a photo appears in the watch folder, it's processed by Writebooth and placed into the event folder. So I'm going to do this again. Let me just play the event. Now this time, I'll leave this here. I'm going to take three photos. I'm going to copy them. I'm going to right click and paste them in and watch what happens in right booth. It finds the first photo. It finds the second photo. And it finds the third photo. So it's automatically processed all three photos and shows the print screen. Let's do it with some more. Let's move those in. Control C, Control V. 
Now, Rightmove's not doing anything at the moment because it's sat on the photo option screen. But as soon as I click finished, watch what happens. We get the thank you screen. And Rightmove is now processing the next three photos that are in there. And again, it moves on to the photo options screen. So it's not totally automated this, but we can automate it. Let's do that. I'm going to go into the designer event structure. Notice that some of the options are greyed out here. So with a watch folder event, you're not going to get ready and countdown or take photo screens. They're not needed because obviously right booth is monitoring the folder for all that you can apply enhancements as well if you wish in this example though i'm going to turn off the show photos so we won't see the photos appearing one at a time let's try that i'm going to play the event again this time i'm going to move three photos in let's take that one that one and that one control c into here control v watch what happens this time so right booth this time has processed all three photos and takes you onto the show photo screen so it's a pre-made print layout okay this is where the user can then manually print if they wish what about automatic printing let's try that so instead of showing the option screen, when we come to print photos, all we want to do here is just say yes, automatically print and turn off, ask the user. So what will happen now is that as I drop photos in, when three photos appear, they will automatically be printed and then right booth will go around and wait for the next three photos to appear and then they will automatically be printed. So let's just try that. Play the event. Here's my empty watch folder. Let's put some images in it. Let's take that one, that one, and that one. Control C, right click, paste. Right with is processing the three photos and it's now printing. And then it returns back to the start screen, waiting for the next three photos. So in this situation where I've set it up, it's completely automatic. Right booth will wait for photos and it will automatically print them when it gets enough to print on the layout screen. So this is quite a powerful feature, really. Um, as long as photos or videos can be placed into the watch folder, Right booth can automatically process them, add enhancements, print them, email them automatically during the event workflow. So how do you get photos into here? Well, there's lots of ways of doing it. You could transfer them across the network from somewhere. Or if the watch folder is, say, a Dropbox folder or a OneDrive folder, then those files, those videos and photos could come from other devices that have got access to your Dropbox folder. So the watch folder events are quite powerful really to allow the automatic processing of videos and photos. Thanks for watching.